Hi everyone, this particular question of functions can either be really really simple or it can be unsolvable depending upon how good your basic concepts of functions are, how good you are with figuring out values and applying ideas that you might know in questions where it doesn't really look like it's a direct application. Let's see how will that happen here. We have to find out the number of real roots of the equation. On my left hand side, I have twice of cos of x into x plus 1. And on the right hand side, I have 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x. At first glance, I don't even know how to solve this. I can't even take anything common. What am I going to do? I get really, really confused. But then if your basics are clear, you will remember a very fundamental idea that the value of cos of something, anything, will always lie between minus 1 and 1. Very similarly, this is 2 to the power of something. So this will be some positive value. This is again 2 to the power of something. So this will be a positive value. If my right hand side is positive, that means my left hand side also has to be positive. So for whatever values we are dealing with, the cos of it will lie between 0 and 1. Now, this, this can't actually even be 0 because 2 to the power x and 2 to the power of minus x, this would never become a uh, cancel out each other or become 0. So this can't even be 0. But yes, this can be 1. I'm doubling it here. There is an extra 2 here. So twice of this value will be less than or equal to 2. So now I know whatever is my LHS, it is positive and it is less than or equal to 2. Let's park it here for the time being that I have determined that my left hand side would be a positive value less than 2. Now, on the right hand side, what do I have? 2 to the power of x. So that is this plus 2 to the power of minus x, which means 1 by 2 to the power of x. Now, how can I figure out this value? Now, if you know something, a very basic concept that p plus 1 by p will always be greater than equal to 2 for positive values. If you know this, this question is solved because now you know 2 to the power x, which is a positive value plus 1 by other positive value. This will always be greater than equal to 2, which means my RHS will always be greater than equal to 2. Now, my left hand side is less than equal to 2, whereas my right hand side is greater than equal to 2. How is that possible that any value which is greater than 2 and any value which is lesser than 2 be the same? That can never happen. That means the only possible solution for this is that the left hand side is 2 and that is the right hand side as well which means on both sides, I need to get a 2. Now my question comes, how do I get a 2 on both the sides? Well, the only way where you can get a 2 uh, from these terms is when both of these terms are 1 and 1, which means 2 to the power x has to be 1, which means x has to be 0. And this is the only possible way where x can be 0 and 2 to the power x can be 1, which means the only possible solution for this particular equation is x is equal to 0. Our question was, what is the number of real roots? Well, we have found out the number of real roots. There is only one real root. And what is that one real root? That one real root is 0. Difficult question. If you don't know about cos x, if you don't know about this property, that positive plus 1 by positive will always be greater than or equal to 2. However, if you know this, this becomes easy. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.